Extra, extra, read all about it. Farmers and consultants find way to get sap easily out of those dry looking leaves. Finally, they have the tool needed to get that high bricks production that they've all been looking for. What we have here is a receptacle fitting. We have various cups that will work in this process. We have a sample chamber. So let's start out and see what we can do with this. One of the first things we're going to do is put a little green screen, a little screen in the bottom of this secondary chamber. Its purpose is to keep goo from getting in when we don't want goo, we just want juice. Uh, this is a sample cup, fits in here, designed to fit in here. Sets on top of the press. And then we will take some ordinary grass. I just reached out here and pulled some grass. And I'm going to pack it into this sample chamber as firmly as I can. The, there's, the only reason to be firm is that you want as much juice as you can get. We're dealing in just a few drops, really. Sometimes you'll get a cc, that'll be about it. It's November, so I don't think this grass is going to be all that juicy. And it's been a bit dry, but let's see what happens. And even if I don't get anything, I'm going to... In there, boy. Now, that little O-ring keeps that from leaking by. And we got a fitting here wherever Mr. Fitting went off to, right here, a snap ring fitting that goes on this part that will keep it, the first piston, make the first piston go down before that we'll or remove it so that the second piston goes down. Now this sets on here, so we got quite a stage, and we're going to lift it up because we won't, gravity will pull all this apart if we're not real careful. Some people, uh, by the way, don't put this retaining pin in because they quickly know what they're doing. Raise your hydraulic press till it firms. Okay, it is firmed. Now at this point, we're trying to, uh, I don't have anything to point with, my finger. Uh, the first piston is going down into the first chamber where the grass is. This ring is keeping this piston from going down. So we'll go through the first step. Now if you listen, you can hear it crunching that grass up and essentially breaking it down into just free cells. That's what you hear there. Now all of the grass has been pushed down into this second chamber which has a screen on the bottom. I'm going to loosen just enough to get this snap ring off. Snap fitting, snap whatever you want to call it. Now, at this point, the second piston can go down. And as it does, we're hoping to get a little juice. I should turn that where I could see it a little better. I think it will. Now we don't want to get too carried away here. We can literally crunch that stuff where the whole sample goes down to the through this second piston, but we don't want that. We're really after the juice. So we're going to put pressure on, but we're not going to get carried away. Now at any time we want to, we can loosen this and check by looking and seeing. And what do we have here but juice? I hope the camera can see that, but we're looking at a cup, a couple cc's of juice in here. If we had continued to press, it pushed the rest of that fiber, everything, it'd push it right on through. But we didn't want that, of course. So, just take a regular old pipette. This one's dirty, sorry. 
we're going to use a ordinary old bricks meter and we're going to take a few drops of our juice put on here and this is good green juice actually you want it as clear as you can get it in this case it's green sorry we'll take that as soon as it reads I'll tip this over and catch the juice running out as you can see 7.8 bricks